Thanks, Gio. Volleyball's gotten off to a hot start, and freshman setter Sammy Pagia's done just the same, averaging 15 assists per match. And I'm here with Sammy right now. Sammy, how are you? Hey, Ethan. How are you? Thank you for having me. Of course. So you looked at about 17 schools, if I remember correctly. So yeah. why the University <laughs> of New Haven? What stood out to you? Um, well, first of all, I really wanted to be close to a city and water, and then I wanted to have four seasons as well. So when I came on campus and I felt the atmosphere, it just kind of felt like home. And then I went and I met my team and I met the athletic director and I just kind of fell in love with the program and just the atmosphere of the school in general. Nice. So um, definitely Four Seasons is a big one in New England. I'm sure you've experienced oh, yeah. that <laughs> already. Um, I know you were looking at a lot of schools in the region. So mm -hmm. what has it been like getting into so far in the year? A lot of non-league contests. Um, getting into regional play and conference play as well. How has it been for you and in the team overall? Um, overall, it's been pretty good. We started off uh, kind of rocky, but I think we kind of found our ground and we're, every single practice we work so hard to figure out what holes we can fix, um, what new plays we can run, how we can communicate better and just improve our game overall. Okay. Um, what was the transition like for you? I know you're coming from Virginia. It's mm -hmm. not a short trip to come up yeah. to Connecticut. So what's it been like adjusting? Not only the season starts off early, so you're adjusting to being a student athlete, but also adjusting to a new territory. What's that been like? Um, well, first of all, it's been so easy because I do have an automatic family on the on campus, just being a teammate or having a team. Uh -huh. um, but I do miss my family from time to time, but it has been an easy transition just because like my coaches and there's not much time to just sit around mm -hmm. and wonder like what what can I be doing if I'm at home so I'm just keeping busy with school and volleyball and just managing my time so okay. really nice um, so obviously you guys have now won um, seven of your last eight after you said a little bit of a rocky start going oh and four so how have you guys been yeah. able to get back on track obviously after Ferris State Invitational you guys mm -hmm. came home for three games won all three I believe in straight sets all of them so yeah. um, how did you take that momentum and build it into now you've won, like I said, seven of eight. Yeah, well, first things first was we reviewed the stats from our first game or first tournament at Fair State, and we just kind of figured out where we needed to build up our, our um, just our offense and our defense. And we came to the conclusion that it just comes down to working harder in practice and making sure we're building each other up and lifting your teammates up and no ball drops without the body on the floor. And there's just high energy all the time. And coach does a really good job of pushing us to our full potential every time in practice. And I think that really translates on the court when we're working hard and you can see it when we're winning three sets yeah. in a row. And it's just a great energy and I hope we can keep it up and keep building our, our program. Nice. So yeah. have you, I know you guys run a 6-2 offense here, so you come in mm -hmm. with Angela Chan, and you guys are the back row setters. Have you played that system before? Uh, yes, I have, actually. Um, I've played a 5-1, a 6-2. There's even 4-2s, but 5-1, uh, 6-2 are the most common. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's just it's good to split time with her. Yeah, yeah. okay, awesome. Well, best of luck to you and the rest of the team going forward. And... Volleyball's been riding the wave with seven of eight, so how can they look to keep it going, guys?